Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is surface area of common solids. So today we are going to be looking at the surface area of a pyramid. So previously we looked at the surface area of prisms. You can go back and check out that video. So when you look at the surface area of a pyramid, so Pyramid can be either a square-based pyramid or a rectangular-based pyramid, but either, either way, the same principle applies in both cases. The formula of calculating the surface area of this pyramid will get the base area. As I said, the base can be either a rectangle or a square. And then we have some rectangular faces, and there are usually four faces. So you calculate also the area of these uh, triangular faces. If it's a square, you just get the area of one triangle and you multiply by four. But if it's a, if it's a rectangle, it means two triangles are the same and other two are the same. So you have to get the area of both of them. So we are going to tackle both in the situation where we have a square and also in the situation where we have a rectangle so that you can be able to see how you tackle in each case. So we'll start with this sample. As you can see, the, the base area, the base is actually a square with side four and four. So everywhere is four in this square. So that is the first area we look for. So the area of square is going to be length times, or, or just side times side. So it's going to be 4 times 4, which is going to give us 16 centimeters square. So the next part, we need to calculate the area of the slanting triangle. And these triangles are all equal. That's the good thing with a square-based pyramid. So this side is 8, and this side is 4. So for us to get this triangle, we need to look for the height. So when we divide that into 2, we form a with a perpendicular bisector at point V, we form a right a right angled triangle with an hypotenuse of H, and then this four this perpendicular divides this base into two, so this is two. So we need to get this value here, which is going to be our height. So we can do that using Pythagoras theorem, which is going to be x squared plus two squared is equals to eight squared, or basically eight squared is equals to x squared plus 2 squared. For us to be left with x squared side, one side we need to move the 2 squared. So x squared is equals to 8 squared minus 2 squared. This is the same as 8 squared is equals to 64 minus 4. And this is the square root. You do square root both sides to remove the square, which gives us the value of x is equals to the square root of 60 basically. So when we do the square root of 60, it gives us 7.74. So the value of x here is going to be 7.74. Now we can get the area. The area is going to be a half times the base is 4. Let's not forget the base is 4 times height, which is 7.74. And whatever answer we are going to get for the triangle, we are going to multiply it by 4. So by 2, 1, by 2, 2, so it is 7.74 times 2, which gives us 15.49. Then this one, we are going to multiply it again by 4, because there are four triangles, which gives us 61.97 centimeters squared. But this, that is not the end. Remember, initially we got 16, so it's going to be 61.97 plus 16 uh, centimeters squared, which is going to give us a total of 77.97 centimeters squared. So make sure always your answers have the correct unit and then show the steps of your working so that you can get the maximum marks. Let's do a question where the pyramid has a, a rectangular base in this case. So in this case, you have been given the inner height. This is the height. We, we do not have the slanting height, um, uh, the slanting height 
uh, length that is. So we need to look for that. But first of all, we said base area. So the area at the base, which is a rectangle, is going to be length times width, which is going to be 6 times 4, which is going to give us 24 centimeters square. So pay attention to what you're going to do next. So for us to be able to get the slanting height, we need to be able to get this value here. So first of all, you notice in this square base, uh, this square base, if you draw a diagonal, so let's draw that, show that like um, how it is it's going to come up. So this is six centimeters, this is four centimeters. If you draw a diagonal here and you draw another diagonal here, this diagonal is going to meet at the center. So we need to look for this side of the diagonal so that we can get to know, get to know this amount is how much. So we can do that by getting the Pythagoras theorem. You can see this is a right angle triangle. When you cross it, you make a diagonal uh, in the rectangle. So we have six centimeters, four centimeters, and then the, the, the hypotenuse is going to be our value of x. So it's going to be x squared is equals to six squared plus four squared, which is the same as x is equals to the square root of six squared plus 4 squared. So this is the same as the square root of 36 plus 14. 16, not 14. So 36 plus 16 gives us 52. So when you do the square root of 52, we get 7.21. You can put another decimal. So this diagonal is 7.2. If you want to get half of the diagonal, it's going to be 7.2 divided by 2, which is going to give us 3.6. So what we have here, this is going to be 3.6, or this is going to be 3.6. Either case is going to be 3.6. Now we have a right angle triangle that is formed from the inner height and a a line at the base, so we have 9 here. Remember, this is right angle, and then we have 3.6. So we need to get the slanting height, which is going to be our hypotenuse, which is we are going to give it L. So I hope you are following. So that's going to mean uh, L squared is equals to 9 squared plus 3.6 squared, which is the same as L is equals to the square root of 9 squared plus 3.6. So 9 squared is 81 plus 3.6 uh, squared, which is going to be 12.96. If we add 81, it's going to be 93. So it's the square root of 93.96, which is going to give us, the square root of 93.96 is going to give us 9.6. 9 or 9.7. So this is going to be 9.6. Now we have the slanting now. This is 9.6, 9.8 is equal across. 9.6 across. But now remember the triangles are different. We have the triangle, this triangle that is 6 centimeters, and then this is 9.6, 9.6, and we also have another one that is 4 on the on the width of the base, eh? 9.6, also 9.6. So you see you're going to get different areas in both. So when you drop a particular bisector in both cases, this gives us 3, this gives us 2. If you want to get the height of the first triangle, it's going to be, if we give this one x, it's going to be x squared is equals to 9.6 squared minus 3 squared. The same case, if we give this one w, is going to be w squared is equals to 9.6 squared minus 2 squared. So this is the same as x is equals to the square root of 9.6 squared minus 3 squared. And then the same case, w is going to be the square root of 9.6 squared minus 2 squared. So 9.6 squared 
9.69. Let's not forget to put 9. And for putting about the 9. You can round off to make your work easier, but we are going to use with the 9. So 9.69 uh, squared is going to give us 93. So x is equals to the square root of 93.8.9 minus 9. Because 3 squared is 9. Then w is going to be 93.9 minus 4. Let's do that together. So 93.9 minus 9 is going to give us 84.9. So the square root of 84.9 gives us 9.2. And then 93.9 minus 4 will give us 89.89 so the square root of 89.9 is going to give us 9.5 so now we look for the area so the area of the first one is going to be a half our base is 6 and our height is 9.2 and whatever we get we multiply by 2 and then the other one is a half times 4 times 9.5 and whatever we get we multiply by 2 since there are two of them so we do the first one which is going to be by 2 1 by 2 3 so it is 3 uh, times 9.2 and then times 2 which is going to give us 55.2 and then the second one uh, by 2 1 by 2 2 it's going to give us 9.5 times 2 which is going to give us 19. Then we multiply by 2, which is 38. So it's going to be 38. So when we add together, so we come back here, area of, a tri of triangles. So we have 55.2 plus 38 and then plus 24. Don't forget, this is our last step, which gives us 55.2 plus 38 um, plus 24 will give us 117.2 centimeters square. And this is our final answer. So that's how we do the rectangle. The rectangular based uh, pyramid is going to be a bit requiring more work because of the fact that, especially if you are not given the, slant, the slanting uh, length, uh, it's going to require a little bit more work, but that's it. That's how you calculate uh, the a, the surface area. So you can get more revision questions on the app and more notes on the same. See you in the next lesson.